Now then YouTube, I am the Top Man and welcome back to uh, my Tottenham simulated manager mode playthrough. And I've just totally gone and screwed up my picture there. Um, let's see. Is that any better? That looks absolutely fucking marvellous. Right, here we go. Champions League time, guys. Champions League time. That's the be all and end all. Remember, guys. What I'm aiming for is to win the Champions League with the team that I'm simulating as, in this case, it being Tottenham. If it's going to take me 15 seasons, I'm going to try my best to get that done. So let's pick our squad for this Champions League game against FC Copenhagen. Now you've probably realised that um, I have dropped down a key. I'm not as loud as what I usually am. Kids are upstairs, they're in bed, and I don't really want to disturb them too, too much if I can help it, so that's why. Let's have a quick look at the squad. 91! Hugo Lloris has gone up to 90 fucking 1. That is insane, guys. That is in fucking insane. Even Kyle Walker, I think, has gone up to 85 on here. Um, Casimiro has gone up to 82 from 80 when I bought him. Nassim, up to 83 from 81 when I bought him. Hernandez, up to 87 from when I bought him, who was 85. Um, Leandro Damiao, I think he was 82 when I got him, he's now 85. Cilio, 76. Uh, the usual thing is going on here. What about Mirelles? Gone up to a 73. That guy's only 17. Oh no, he's 18 now. 18 years of age. 73 rated. Not bad at all. Jardim there. He's 17, isn't he? Yes, he is. Bunch of legends that I've got here, guys, in the making. Bunch of legends. So, let's simulate this match against FC Copenhagen. Come on now, guys. Come on. Let's make this two wins out of two in the Champions League so far. Come on. We can do this. No, we can't. <laughs> Narsing's injured as well. I hope it's not a bad one. Oh, just um, going by that, look, not connected. What a fucking surprise. Champions Cup, Ajax 2. Viewed players three. in the youth three. academy there. Schalke 79 and 85, Celtic 80 two. to 86. Not brilliant Celtic players, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, I could one. do them up a little bit and sell them on. Two. 88 to 94, that's the guy I'm looking at. Adelaide. Vincent, Vince a lot. Barcelona. Right mid. Spartak Moscow 1, Bilbao. He's out for three days, so it's not too bad. Ooh. Liverpool rumoured to prefer uh, the pre to be preferred destination for Leandro Damiao. Liverpool, <clears throat> Liverpool. Seems that my own pissing club that I support is trying to get after me, after me fucking players. Just get me coffee, guys. Left it over here. Like some sort of dick cheese. I've left me coffee over there. So what comes next in the Barclays Premier League? <sighs> Liverpool now. Let's try and beat them down. Today is the last day. Let's go and submit the team. Uh, the right mid's injured. Uh, right back, sorry, is injured. So we get the next left, next best right back, which is for Seal. And I've got to remember that Casares is uh, actually in the national pool over there. Um, it looks like it actually sorts them out in like uh, overall order there. So. Looks like I've still got some good players. If I didn't want Polenta, say, for example, I could always switch him out for Victorino or Rodriguez over there, but uh, I don't really need to. What about right mids? There's no other right mids, really, to so, uh, have a look at, apart from Siracho, uh, Siraco there, but that's uh, just to submit the squad, really. This game against Liverpool now. Nassing is obviously nursing that injury, is coming back. Uh, Aaron Lennon gets a rare game. In fact, Nassing, I'm just going to leave off totally. Uh, we don't have any other right mids. It's probably good that uh, Vincent, Vince, Vincent Vince a lot's coming up. Let's get Mirales and uh, see. throw the cat amongst the pigeons. Come on now. 
Liverpool away as well. This is this is probably going to be pretty difficult, guys. I'm not going to lie. There's a fucking win. Three points. Gareth Bale in the 84th minute manages to grab a winner, and that's another three points to celebrate. Nice. Come on. The Barclays Premier. I mean, Arsenal. I keep qualifying for the Champions League, so. At some stage, something's surely in the future going to click, and uh, I'm going to have an awesome, you know, an awesome team that's capable of winning the Champions League just by simming through it. But it is very, very difficult. We've got now we've got Arsenal, a really, really difficult start to the season. We've got players leaving on international duty as well. Really difficult start to the season. We've got Chile next. I think that's actually just a friendly though. I don't think it's part of any kind of qualifications or quick look at, at, the squad, at the squad, make sure it's okay. Yeah, that's looking alright. What about uh, Narsing? Is he back in? He is back in, what a ledge. Let's get Aaron Lennon on the bench just in case things go wrong. Casemiro there, look, 82, I can't believe he's gone up so quick, can't believe he's gone up so quick, this is what I like to see guys, I like to see Vertonghen go up a little bit more, but I don't think he will, uh, he's already 27 years of age, so maybe I want to have a look, another look at uh, maybe getting a centre back in, come round January, just a young, a young centre back who's got a lot going for him, I'd like to see that, but here we go, Spurs versus Arsenal, Big game. Big game. Oh my fucking lord. Two for Hernandez. Two for Leandro Damiao. Bale getting one as well. A 5-1 win over Arsenal. That is an insane achievement, guys. That is an insane achievement. Vertonghen is injured, though. Not looking forward to seeing what this is. Oh. Six weeks. This is exactly why I wanted another... You know, young guy coming through. Cliche reported home. Fuck off. You've been in England for pissing years. Just fuck off. Don't start with this bullshit again. With this bullshit. Last time that happened, fuck me. I lost every fucker. Uh, there's Goverov there. Why have I not got a goalkeeper in the substitutes? I've got plenty of them. At the top of the table remain Manchester United with 19 points. De Leon. Second, right. rising up the table are Everton with 18 Nothing points. Nothing we can do much about there. Climbing the but, table. Oh, what a, we lost him for six fucking weeks, guys. And fourth and falling are Chelsea with 15 Right, if Clichy says that he's going to come back as homesick, then I've got no problems selling him and then buying maybe, maybe um, Jordi Alba, because Jordi Alba's a good guy at the left back as well. So maybe that might be the option there, if that does come around, that is. So here we are, at Uruguayan duty, Italian, uh, an international friendly now against Chile. Why does it do that? Why does it automatically select back at the bottom there? That's annoying. Fourth bottom, climbing the table, are Queen's Park Rangers with seven points. Suarez, bottom, Cavani. Down, uh, with eight points. I'm not even going to try and fucking pronounce his name now, it's getting annoying. Uh, I think that's actually the, uh, the squad there. No need to mess around. Chile versus Uruguay. International friendly. I can't believe that, guys. I really can't believe that <clears throat> my Uruguay team here are just getting slaughtered. I don't understand what it is. Another interest, uh, international friendly, this time against Bolivia. Fuck off, cliche. It just wouldn't make sense for, for that. It just, I don't know. Spurs show just how good De Cilio I just couldn't see this happening. And I can't believe that Uruguay, Uruguay's goalkeeper is 85 overall. That's like as good as Pepe Reina. That's ridiculous. I, I don't even know this fucking bloke at all. You get rolling in. You see, the, it's a weird 
formation. And I think it's the formation guys that's fucking us over here. So I'm going to take a look at what this result is going to be against Bolivia here. And I'm going to actually, if it does mess up, I'm going to, I'm going to switch it to a flat 4-4-2. Uh, much like what my Spurs is. We'll see what we'll do from there. Yeah, it's just, it's just, whatever it is, it's just not working. I'm sorry, but Uruguay are a hell of a lot better than Bolivia. A hell of a lot better than Bolivia. Godam's got an injury, not that I give a shit really, to be quite honest. Wolves, we're back at um, club level duty against Wolves. So what comes next in the Barclays Premier League? The league leaders, Manchester United, visit 13th place Bolton Wanderers. Chelsea, Something looks different. I can't place it. City. Hugo Lloris, Kyle Walker, Kabul, Hummels, Cliche, Sandro. No, everyone's there. It should be. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. What's up, dog? Wolves, come on. Come on. Please don't let Sigurd Arsene score against me. Oh, this is a joke. This is a fucking joke. My team's like world fucking class. This is ridiculous. Champions League, AC Milan, and then Southampton. I'll play this game and then I'll have a look, see where we are in the Champions League, just to see what's, you know, what's what. Now let's see what effect that's had on the league standards. At the top of the table remain Looking okay. with 19 points. I don't want to Second change that team. That's an awesome team and I don't understand. It. I just don't understand it. I'm at a loss as to why. It comes to got along with fucking um, Norwich or Wolves and they just can't fucking win for the life in them. I don't understand this. Spurs versus Milan. And then you come across, across Arsenal and look, AC fucking Milan. 4-1. Deandre yeah, Damian, Christian Cavallo scoring again off the bench. Hernandez and Bale. Bale's doing very well this season. Bale is doing very well. All parties remain tight-lipped in the Leandro Damian affair. Girl cliche, I enjoy playing for Spurs and you, boss, but I just miss home and family so much. Fuck off. I'll still give you 110% every week, but I just thought I'd let you know that I'm not feeling settled right now. I haven't spoken to anyone else about it, not even my agent, but it's not easy being in a strange country with the different food and everything else that I have to adjust to, you know. Fucking how many years have you been in England? Holy shit. You just wouldn't start whinging about that, like seven years down the line. Yeah, different foods. Are you too busy eating fucking snails or something? Fuck's sake. I just don't get it. Stupid. It's fucking stupid, guys. And I've totally forgotten what to do, what I said I was going to do. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to pop into the season stats, club competitions, Champions Cup, and then see exactly where we are. Well, we'll have a quick gander over all the groups. So FC Bayern, uh, Bayern Munich, in other words, and Inter Milan are both, at the moment, halfway through the group stages, are in pole positions. Group B sees Manchester United and Atletico Madrid in the, uh, the player in the promotion bits. Qualifying, that's the one. Qualifying for the next round. Um, though Manchester United look way in front there. There's Borussia Dortmund and Arsenal who are in the qualifying places. Juventus and Porto. Barcelona and Anderlecht. Galatasaray and Manchester City. And then, of course, Tottenham Hotspur and Milan, who are in uh, pole positions there. Just so happens that it's the worst team in the group that we've actually drawn against. Would you believe it? So it not only stretches to uh, Premier League, but it stretches to here as well. Let's have a look at the team for the um, Southampton match. It's not looking too bad, it's not looking too bad at all. Soon Casimiro's going to be overtaking Sandro, I can tell you right now. This guy's a ledge. 22 year old as well. 22 years old. Spurs versus Southampton, come on. 
Another low, lower type of team here. 4 1 this time. Oh, Casimiro's injured. No. Sandro Hummels, Hernandez, and Leandro Damiao. Both of them scoring again. Scoring for fun. Three months Casimiro's going to be out for. Holy shit. Suddenly I'm regretting selling. Uh, what's his first? Sigurdsson. Casimiro, that is a setback, guys. That is a real setback. Now we've got Capital One Cup against Manchester City again. That's twice now in two years. Slightly frustrating. Enriquez returns to first final club Spurs. Round, Hotspur, City. I mean, I'm, like I said, I'm not particularly bothered about this cup West competition, so I don't mind giving, giving the young guys a chance in this one. Govorov. Danny Rose. Huddleston. Parker. Yeah, looks like Lennon might be in. Mirelles. Caballos. And of course, Patello, who's now 69. Good stuff. And now I'm going to leave all the good players on the bench just in case shit goes down. My battery's gone red, so if it just shuts off, guys, I will, uh, you know, stop and just save it until the next um, video. But here we are Spurs versus Man City. Come on, fuck's sake. Do these fuckers. <laughs> Not with my fucking second team. Against their first team. Still, they put they put up a good fight. 2-1. Uh, De Cilio actually managing to, to score there. Not too bad. Not too bad. Although we're still out. But uh, I don't really give a shit about the about this cup, to be honest. English. I want to get that out of the, out of the way. I'm glad you've got the faith in me to continue to pick me. Thanks for that. De Cilio. That's one. De Skiglio. <laughs> Skiglio. Man. Oh, no. Fucking West Ham. And you watch. I'll, I'll fucking struggle against these cunts. I'll fucking struggle against these. A year ago, I want their fucking national people again. Youth Academy. Still no people coming up just yet. But uh, still looking pretty good for these guys. Michael Dawson constantly sitting on the sideline is not what I want in my career. So when the next transfer window arrives, I want to be sold. Hey boss, this match coming up is pretty important to the team and I feel I should replace De Leon on the team sheet. I hope that you agree. I do agree, actually. Just about to do it, alright. Ah, uh, lovely little button that. Just swap everyone out. <laughs> And let's just double check, make sure all the team's okay. Walker, Hummels, Kabul, Cliche, Sandro, Parker. Oh yeah, Casemiro's out, isn't he? Um, I don't, I'd rather have Huddleston there, to be honest. Narsing, Bale, Hernandez and Damiao. Ooh, Bale's now gone up to 91, guys. Miando Damiao's gone up to 86. Good stuff going on. Some real good stuff. I bet Matt's Hummels is going to go up soon. I reckon. I bet he is. Right, I think I will actually call. Uh, I might get the Copenhagen one in. I might get it. I might squeeze that one in. Let's see what bullshit this happens to be like. Oh, two-one. I actually managed to win this time. Kabul's got a red card though, so a bit short in the area of centre back at the minute. Hernandez and Damian are both scoring again. Legends, honestly, guys, get them fucking, get them in your team. Fucking legends. The Barclays Premier League, Arsenal four. Told you, boss. That's what he said. Told you. Full of one. <laughs> FC Copenhagen, the ones, the only ones that have got one point in our group, and it was just so happens to be against us. Wigan Athletic one, Norwich City two, Swansea City two, West Ham United one. Let's get straight into it with our first team. Two. Kabul's not United, out for this one, it's out so for the next one, for the league. league so come on, Spurs versus Copenhagen. 2-0 this time, Narsing and Hernandez both scoring. Great stuff. And uh, I think that, that will be an end to this episode. Narsing has turned out to be a really, really good signing on that right-hand side.
Celtic. We are currently sitting in third place, only one point behind league Manchester leaders City. Manchester United. Leandro Damiao, second yeah. top scorer there. Not only was he top scorer, one. Hernandez three assists one. there, but uh, not only was one. Leandro yeah. Damiao top scorer last season, but um, he is getting up there this season as well, which is always great to see. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave that there, and um, I will see you guys for the next episode, where we hopefully will get into maybe December time. Uh, the next set of videos, I will definitely get into the transfer window, which is exactly where I want to be, because I really need to start concentrating on centre-backs, because um, Dawson wants to be sold, Kabul's just got... Um, Somebody got an injury. Who was it? The Tongan got an injury. Uh, you know, Kabul's forever getting sent off and all sorts of bullshit. So I'd like some more cover at the back, some good quality cover at the back there. So until next time, guys, I've been the top man, and as always, stay safe.